Welcome back, everybody. This morning, we're talking about myths you need to know before you get your vehicle service. Joining me this morning, Brian Barosak, our auto man. Thanks Good for morning. being here. Glad to be here as always. We're going to play a little game, fact versus fiction. You ready? This is awesome. I love All this. Right. Let's do it. Question number one. Inflate tires to the pressure shown on the tire's sidewall. True or fact or fiction? Fiction. The reason why is you should actually inflate your tires to the sticker that's in the driver's door jam. Each vehicle is engineered and manufactured for different tire pressure, and the tire pressure on the sides of the tires is max pressure, so we don't want to do that. Okay, there you go. So fiction. It's fiction. <laughs> if brake fluid is low, topping it off will fix the problem. Fact or fiction? That's fiction again, and the reason why is where did it go? We need to take a look. Either it's from brake pad wear, or we actually have a leak where fluid's leaking out somewhere. So this is one of those times you want to get it into somebody that's qualified to actually take a good look at your vehicle, make sure it gets fixed properly. Brakes are very important in my world. Absolutely, <laughs> for all of us. Okay, question number three. If regular grade fuel is good, premium must be better. Fact or fiction? Fiction again. We have lots of fiction lots coming of out fiction. today. The reason why is every engine is engineered for a specific grade of fuel. Uh, so stick with what your car is engineered for. Usually in the owner's manual, it'll tell you the octane rating you should be using. Stick with that. There's no reason spending extra money on higher octane if your car doesn't need it, won't do much for you. There you go. So don't save the money. Save the All money. All right. Question number four. Flush coolant with every oil change. Fact or fiction? Another fiction. And actually, we've seen this done to people before, and you're wasting money. Uh, regular green coolant, two years, 24,000 miles. Um, if you have extended life, three years, 50,000 miles in that range, you can get out of it. So that's absolutely fiction. All right. Well, last but not least, we'll see if you guys all get it right. After a jump start, your car will soon recharge the battery. Fact or fiction? What do you think about that? Fiction. Fiction. It's fiction. And I'll tell you, tell, fiction. <laughs> tell you why. Um, the charging system is made to keep the battery at a steady charge. When you deplete the battery quite a bit, it's got to work extremely hard to get it charged up. Now, will it do it sometimes? Yes, it will. But the best way to do it is get your vehicle in, get the battery charged properly, and the system will continue to work as designed. Perfect. You've passed the test, my friend. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Brian Barasaka, our Adam, and thank you for being with us. So this glad morning. to be here. Thank you. All right. We're back with much more after this. Stay with us.